Hey, good morning. This is Ray here at Namrite Farms. I'm standing down here at the pond, literally at the edge of the pond. Anyway, just to uh, show something to you, for the last week, as you all know, across America, we've experienced some really cold temperatures. And here in Tennessee, anytime it stays below 10, <laughs> highs in the teens, that's pretty cold for us, just to be honest. Whenever it's cold enough that your pond is froze enough that you can walk on it, here in Tennessee, we call that cold. Not today, it's warming up, but for the last week, I've had to come down here to this pond because this is the water source for my sheep. Uh, this, this is where they typically get their water from. I, I've got other opportunities for them, but this is the main one. So I've come down every day to check on it and, and brought down with me a, an, an item, a tool the other day to try to break through this ice, only to realize it was five to six inches thick. So therefore, it wasn't much for me uh, that I could do, even here at the edge, to get them water. Then I noticed, uh, here at my pond, there's, a, there's an outlet. And it's real funny to me, is right here, right here, going down right this path, right down through there, well, that's not very deep at all. In fact, the water's not thick. Uh, it's very shallow. So you would think if all this is frozen, that this right here would be frozen as well. But it wasn't. In fact, this right here pretty much well stayed as a little steel pool for them. And then all down through here, you can see there's water. It's a height of a cellar. That was there for them. And I noticed something. The reason the water wasn't frozen is there was a slight trickle. It was constantly moving. It was constantly stirring. So therefore the water was unable to freeze, which allowed my sheep to have a place to drink. It made me really happy, but it also made me think. Sometimes in our life, in the world around us, things just seem frozen. Frozen by sin, frozen by trouble, frozen by hard times, frozen because of bad choices, maybe. But there's always a stirring underneath. And if we look, there is a wellspring of life known as Jesus Christ, who's constantly moving through his spirit and offering to us living water. Think about that and go enjoy the shepherd. I'll see you soon.